It was such an honor and a privilege to be with my dad in his last days that he allowed family to share in that time and to care for him when he was his most vulnerable is a blessing I will hold forever. And it set the bar really high on how I want to conduct the rest of my life and how I want to conduct my death. And with the help of hospice, because we couldn't have done it without hospice, we, we were able to keep dad at home and he was able to die at home. And between you and me and mom and Kelly, we just never left his side. We didn't have to because hospice took care of the stuff. It's, you know, everybody in the family has a role. Every brother, every sister, aunts and uncles, everybody has a role. And um, I think in the process of dying, we would tend to take on roles that perhaps we're not, perhaps we're not trained for, we're not ready for, we don't know how to manage. We don't have the courage for. We don't have the courage for, and I think Peterson Hospice, I think Peterson Hospice coming in with people who were hands-on that could help, help train us how to do the things that we needed to do to bathe him. Um, I know that Peterson Hospice being there allowed us to be who we were to him all of the time. Yes. And so you got to be his daughter, yes. not his caregiver. Right. And Kelly got to be his daughter and Sarah got to be his wife. Yep. Yeah. My name is Allison Elro and I'm a nurse at Peterson Health, currently performing the role of hospice nurse for the last seven years. I've taken care of countless numbers of hospice patients and one of those was Mr. Robert Vesper. When you work in hospice, especially Peterson Hospice, you're working with an incredible team of people and no one person can take care of a person or a patient all by themselves. It really does take a team. And that's one of the good things about, one of the great things about Peterson Hospice is because we have a team 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I know when I go home, somebody else is gonna pick up where I left off without missing a beat. And I trust my team and I love my team and they love the patients just as much as I do. And that's what makes Peterson Hospice special. I, I imagine if we would have tried to provide dad with the same, the same right to die with dignity in your home, to pass with dignity in your home, I don't think it would have been very good because I think it would have been frenetic. I think that, um, family mem members would have found themselves at odds with one another. Absolutely. Um, and because, hot. because you're scared. Yeah. When and, somebody and... you love is dying, you're scared. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the most scary parts for us was we didn't want my dad to be in pain mm -hmm. and we didn't want to do the wrong thing. And the, those two things right, were taken yeah. care of by Peterson. Having yeah. hospice there to reassure us that this noise is correct, that action is correct, this bodily function is correct. That was really helpful. When you come into the family's home, like when I came into Mr. Vesper's home, I had two daughters, a son-in-law and, and a wife, and they were all at various stages. And I knew it wouldn't be long, and so I had to figure out what each person needed to, to help them along their journey. And Mr. Vesper passed in about a week's time. It was a lot to go over in a short amount of time, but everybody was on board. Everybody was engaged. Everyone showed up when they needed to show up and educated when they needed to educate and help Mr. Vesper ensure that he was comfortable and that he was pain-free, which was the most important thing for the family and that the family felt too that Mr. Vesper was dying with dignity and respect. That's all we want. Making the hospice decision can be very difficult. Sometimes it's when we least expect it. If you're not sure, if you need more information, if you want to talk to a little bit more, consult your primary care provider, reach out to Peterson Hospice, have us answer your questions, and make sure that you feel extremely comfortable before you move forward on the decision.